Hello YouTube, how is it going? Helen the Russian here. So I've been away for a bit, haven't been in touch, but I'm back. Um, and this week in Las Vegas, which is the whole point of this video, we have a really good convention. Um, in my opinion, better than most actually it ending up to be. It is a medical IT convention, so I'm, I'm guessing it has to do with various promotions or whatnot they do on on the IT side for medical equipment and services. But more to the point, I have noticed, I didn't realize how big the convention was up until Monday. I gave rides to some people who were setting it up on Sunday and I thought, oh, it's just you know one of those many conventions we have, but no. So here is the nitty gritty. What I found out was that it starts surging for that convention right around um, Venetian, but it's it's a whole huge area encompassing that big area of the strip. So it's not just around Venetian, and it's really nice surge, especially on Uber, on Lyft as well. But I'll get to that in a minute. And that surge starts around 4:30 and goes on up until about 6.37. And the ride, you get rides one on the top of another, meaning you know how Uber gives you a ride before you finished your previous ride? Well, that's what's happening. And although the surge is not huge, in my experience, this three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it was anywhere between 1.3 to 2.2, that's the highest I got. But it's worth it because people are going in all kinds of different directions. A couple of times I did get stuck in traffic a bit, but nothing too huge. And it ends up being very productive. So I've done, I did literally two hours on Monday and I had 50 bucks. Same thing on Tuesday. And yesterday I ended up having um, almost $95 in like three and a half hours just because it kept giving me rides. I kept thinking, okay, I'm going to go home now and it just would give me a ride, give me a ride and people were tipping. So three days, $200 for not that many hours worked at all. And that was all on Uber. And now I'll get to a point with why it wasn't on Lyft. Although initially I had Lyft on as well, but Lyft, probably because it's the new company and not quite as widespread, they do have the surge, but the surge seemed to disappear quite quickly and it also shifts. You know, when, when you look at your phone and you see where those pink and really dark pink areas are, suddenly there is a hole, white hole right in the middle of it, meaning surge in that particular area went away. And, uh, you know, it's just too quick. With Uber, with this particular convention, it's actually easily predictable. Once I figure out what's going on, yesterday I was ready for that. I drove into that area. I, I did not go online when I left the house, which I normally do, but I just did not want to miss that search. So I literally drove into the search area and went online right when I saw myself on the map that I'm in the search. And that went on from there. You get one ride after another. They always in the surge area. You go nonstop like Tuesday. I, 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 like I said, I only drove for two hours. I did seven rides. One after another after another. So good deal. Convention, I ask these people. Convention will be on today and tomorrow. It ends tomorrow. So those of you who haven't cashed in on that, I definitely recommend. And I definitely recommend this strategy. Literally driving into the heavy thick of the surge and then going online. Because otherwise I feel it's going to pull you away. Like uh, I briefly went online with Lyft yesterday and it, it tried to do just that. I, I dropped someone off at the real hotel and it wanted me to go do lift line somewhere like I would have to drive seven minutes away from the strip and no, I didn't want to do that. And sure enough, not 30 seconds later, I get a request on Uber and it's the surge. Not a huge one, 1.3, but still much better than no surge on lift line. So, and all of those people, that's another thing I noticed, they don't fool around with pool and line. They, they fool well aware of what it is. They don't want to do it. They all get their own rides. They understand there is a bit of a surge. They don't mind. Um, they tip. If you're nice, they tip. So all good. Good people, good experience, no problems whatsoever. 
And because convention end last day is Friday, I'm also assuming there might be a bit of a rush Saturday morning to the airport. I'm assuming all these people would want to leave because as we all know, Saturday night hotels are generally higher priced just because it's the weekend. So I'm guessing they all want to bugger off either late Friday night or early Saturday morning or both. So cash in on the money people it's all about the money <laughs> all right have a nice day everybody